Okay, uh, welcome to the uh, short tutorial for the Node Editor. Um, the Node Editor is essentially a way to edit materials in an alternative way. If you uh, were to edit uh, materials normally, we would go to the right side here, um, choose our material type, like we could use, um, let's say, glass for example, um, choose our, our color and the other. Um, well, um, things we want to have. And there we go, we have our color, um, um, our material, of course. But um, this gets quite um, hard to use when you start doing um, more complex materials, like if we had a mixed shader um, consisting out of diffuse and um, maybe well, glossy, let's say gets a very um, a, a bit messy because you have very many values here and it's not so easy to um, well keep a track of everything. That is why we have the node editor. Um, I will split the window here by right clicking this little edge split area. You can also just drag this out. That would work as well. Um, and then I'm going to go to the node editor. You can see the node editor is a different representation of this. Um, let's go back to our um, diffuse material um, with our pinkish color so that you have a very um, simple representation of this. So navigating in the node editor is pretty easy. You can just um, well, move using the middle mouse button or zoom in, zoom out. You can select things as you would do in the viewport with right click and move with G. You can also um, scale uh, combined nodes or even rotate them about around the center. So navigation is essentially like in the um, 3D view. So what's the idea behind this? Um, the idea is that you have values which come from the left, pass through nodes and go to the right to this uh, material output. So right now we have um, this diffuse shader which has this, this, this green means um, shader, so there's a shader which is going out of here into the material output. And that's a very very simple material setup. You could also say um, we will add the color um, using a texture, so let's let's add a simple texture. Let's say we have a noise texture, which which is just some well, random noise. Then you can drag this point out and plug it into the color. And if we look into the preview, we can see some really colorful noise going on there. So this way you can uh, create some more complex and uh, procedural materials. Procedural means um, that you don't use like pre-done textures or something, but mathematical structures to actually create um, well real life materials. So yeah, this is essentially um, what the material node editor does, but the node editor also contains some different modes. You can also edit the world with it. Um, like if you go to the world tab, click use nodes, could also give um, the um, background a certain texture or something, which is quite handy. Um, but we'll go back to object. And um, the third mode that is also pretty important is the um, scene mode, which is um, used for post-processing, but we will go into that later on. So this is um, the very um, simple way of um, using the node editor. But there are also some nice tips for um, more complicated layouts. For example, let's say I want to use this color not only for a diffuse, but also let's hit Shift A, add a mix shader, and let's add a glossy shader. Shift A is for adding new stuff as well. And we want to add this, but like maybe the texture is up here or something. 
what I like to do, which is pretty cool. You can hit shift, draw a line, and then it connects using a dot. And it's just pretty handy. Um, but it's one way to simplify your layout. Um, another way is you can go to layout and create frames, which you can use to, um, well, put several nodes into them and just like make the layout a bit um, nicer. But um, the even better thing to do is you can select several nodes and hit control G then you will get um, what well, a group that essentially contains all those nodes and you can um, toggle this using tab. Just a single um, piece. It is really handy if you want to uh, keep your setup clean. But that's just a pro tip. You shouldn't worry about that if you're just beginning to use this. Um, but this way you can also say let's add um, our group again. You can do that several times pretty easily. Well, that's that. But let's go over um, the um, nodes we can actually add in the um, node editor searches for, <laughs> well, searching for nodes. Input is very interesting because you get a lot of um, information there. You can, um, well, get um, the angle at which the um, camera is pointing at a point or or really a, a lot. It is it is really nice, and you can also create colors using this um, output. Well, you have the material output. That's pretty straightforward. Shaders are all the uh, shaders you can use and that you know and love. Pretty straightforward textures. Just um, a lot of procedural textures as well as the image textures that you can use for creating materials. Color is for using or combining colors or like, yeah, editing them like you could um, edit the hue or the saturation of a color directly. Um, the vector is used for mainly for bump and normal maps, which lets you essentially affect the type of shading a texture has. It's a bit more complicated and I will go over it later on. Um, converter is like the mathematical point of um, combining values, but it is pretty handy. Uh, script is uh, like a custom strip uh, script. Group is, um, yeah, well, creating groups or adding groups. Layout is our frame. Okay, so pretty easy to use. Um, I will show you how to set up some um, nicer materials uh, next time and I hope I see you then.